Live from the scene of last night's fiery wreck. Leanne, what did you learn? Well, this is I-85 just behind me, and to give you a better sense of where we are, the Davidson County Airport is just over the overpass, and we've been watching crews out here all day today. We want to zoom in now. Something that we've been watching throughout the day is that crews have been taking a look at the debris. They're kind of hard to see from uh, this vantage point with the lighting right now, but you can see there are two people who are working at the debris. There's that scorched ground. Uh, as well. So that's sort of what we've been watching throughout the day today. But the big picture, of course, that you that you just can't miss if you're on I-85 is the tractor trailer, which is still on its side at this point, more than 24 hours since this um, horrible event took place. We were able to connect with the NTSB today with a spokesperson out of D.C. to get a better sense of what exactly it is that they're looking for. So he told us that the first thing they need to do is make sure they collect anything that could be washed away. He called this perishable evidence. So that's taking pictures of skid marks and collecting any sort of debris that they might need in their investigation. Once that's complete, he's told us that they'll pivot to working on the longer report. That report will take many months to complete. It will include talking with the manufacturer of the airplane, the engine manufacturer, as well as witnesses going through video of the incident. That report is going to take some 12 to 18 months to complete. But again, investigators have been out here all day. Law enforcement helping keep this area secure. That on-ramp is still closed off uh, to get on to 85 at this point. Uh, again, we are expecting to hear a preliminary report from the NTSB within about two weeks, we were told. And it could be 12 to 18 months before we get a final report. But again, that tractor trailer is still on its side tonight. In Davidson County, Leon Denier, WXII 12 News.